What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or online at www.whatsupinthesky.com and uh, we are looking at Bridget, the new European Space Agency's rover. Um, they'll be testing it out in Chile. Uh, Chile, similar to Mars. Let me tell you what, it looks just like Mars. And every time I see something like this, it makes me have to remember that I've got to be really skeptical in my head when I'm doing these Mars pictures because it's so easy for stuff to look like it was man-made even when nature made it. Um, so I'm, this is something new I'm going to start doing. I've done it the last couple of weeks. I've gotten good response, a lot more hits than uh, just some of my, my other videos. So I'm going to start doing some more news videos. Hopefully that will bring some more people into the anomaly videos and some more voices and uh, hopefully grow my channel. I'm actually doing what I'm trying to do is grow my channel. I'm going to do news, some news articles when it comes to space and stuff like that. Um, what's up in the sky? If it's up in the sky or possibly coming in from the sky, we're going to be looking maybe at it. Um, also, a, a rover's weekly or bi-weekly, something like that, monthly, where we talk about where the rovers are, what they're doing, any anomalies they found, any problems they've come up on, uh, any interesting sites, what NASA's saying, if they're saying anything because they're closed down, if they ever open back up, what the European Space Agency is saying, what India is saying, they've got their uh, their new satellite ready to go up, their MOM mission, um, and let's check a look at this here. This is uh, pretty neat. I'm going to hit play on here. You see... Uh, you know, basically it's a little rover. It actually looks a lot like our Spirit and Opportunity rover that went up there. Um, now they've tried to get them there before and they've had trouble. The rovers have been have been very troublesome for other uh, for other countries to get up there. But the United States has somehow been able to do it. We've gotten, I think, Pathfinder, Viking, a whole bunch of missions have gone up. Um, but they're going to test it in Chile and that's one more step closer to it. Um, and then let's take a look. There's more Comet Ison Doom and Gloom. This is just happens to be the article today that just came out just in time for Ison. Scientists discover ancient Earth comet impact. And this is really cool. This, this should be labeled something different. This is saying that they found out about where that mystery glass from. If you check out like some of the old ancient aliens things or some of the uh, Discovery channels where they talk about, or History Channel, and they talk about uh, you know, mysteries of the past and Egypt. Well, they had this glass that was out in the Sahara Desert, like just a little layer of it, and it was really fine colored glass, and they couldn't find this stuff anywhere. Well, apparently, here's where it came from. Well, here's what they're saying it came from. You know, like I said, we're not, it's all speculation. Most even what people uh, call science today is still speculation. It's uh, based off of, uh, you know, theories and hypotheses. So, anyway, Comet Ison is getting closer but making its pass to the sun. What would happen if it had a brush with our planet instead? New evidence shows it would be devastating. So once again, a little bit more of the ice on, but putting it with something devastating, you know, more doom and gloom on it. The team's discovered, okay, international scientists have discovered the first ever evidence of the comet entering Earth's atmosphere and exploding. The celestial object rained down fire across the Earth, obliterating everything in its path. The team's discovery provides the first definitive proof of a comet striking Earth millions of years ago. It also helps to give scientists a peek into how comets help shape the solar system. Comets always visit our skies. They're the dirt they're these dirty snowballs mixed up ice and dust. But never before in history has material from a comet ever been found on Earth, Professor David Block of Witts University said in a statement. According to the findings, a comet entered Earth's atmosphere above Egypt 28 million years ago. As it made its way into our atmosphere, it exploded, heating up the sand beneath it to a temperature of about 3,600 degrees Fahrenheit, which resulted in the formation of a huge amount of yellow silica glass that scattered about 3,700 square miles in the Sahara Desert. So th these things were neat, and then we found them, like I said, in the ancient tomb. Uh, some were found, I believe, in uh, some of the some of the actual burial chambers of some of the pharaohs in Egypt. It's a very interesting glass that they've been looking into finding out. Just so happens now that we can put it with some ice on doom and gloom, they stick it up next to it. Um, Egyptian geologists discovered a mysterious black pebble a few years ago, which the scientists use as part of their study. The team determined that this pebble, named Hypatia, represented the first known hand specimen of a comet nucleus rather than simply an unusual type of meteorite. So they're just not this, okay. Um, no, not much to that. This is from redorbit.com. I put all the links down the bottom. That's one thing about my videos, my anomaly videos. I always link stuff in the bottom. If it's something on Google Earth, I give you coordinates. I beg you to go look at it and see it. Um, this article right here is talking a little bit more about, uh, well, hold on, this was, uh, 
this was a neat one. This is uh, one of Jason Davis's blog. That's one I come to every once in a while. Comet I saw in the much anticipated Comet of the Century has been taking a beating lately. Yeah, it has. A big beating, especially when High Rise came back. Yep. High Rise team snapped photos of the icy visitor last week. The results were a bit disappointing. As you can see from my video, people were upset with it, the fuzziness of it, which I still say, you know. It's kind of it, high rise was meant to make beautiful pictures of the ground, not of the sky. So many astronomers are beginning to warn that the hype surrounding ISON may be a bit overblown. As comet hunter David Le Levy said, comets are like cats. They have tails and they do precisely what they want. But there's still a fair chance ISON may put on a good show. The comet is visible through ground based telescopes and they're continuing to brighten as it plunges towards a late November counter with the sun. Early this morning, astro astrophotographer Adam Block pointed the University of Arizona's 32-inch Schulman telescope at ISON, and they got a pretty spectacular results, he writes. I'm certain more images of this will be coming out shortly as it increases in brightness during its dive towards the sun. Here, it's hoping it survives the rendezvous and emerges as something spectacular on the other side. Me too. No doom and gloom over here. If you talk to people at the universities, I talk to my friends at NASA, I talk to a couple of people I know that are astronomers, they've got nothing but excitement about this. Nobody's scared, nobody's saying it's Planet X, nobody's saying it's Nibiru, it's not going to take out our power grids. Um, I'm sorry, it's not going to be from, from Comet Ison. But check out that photograph. It's uh, Adam Block, Mount Lemon, or Mount Lemon Sky Center, University of Arizona. Just a beautiful shot there. If you could check out, the link will be below. Um, Comet Ison may be dying. Now, this is talking about the uh, disintegrating story I did yesterday, the other day. I think it was two days ago. About uh, astronomer Inicio Farron of uh, FACOM um, basically said that from what he's seen from the last eight comets that came in and died, it looks like uh, it started to disintegrate. Um, the uh, light curves of it. If you want to look back, I linked the uh, PDF to his page. He's got a white page that showed this. So even though it's getting brighter because it's getting closer to the sun, he still thinks it's going to be dying. So anyways, I hope you like the new stuff. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be doing the, the news, a little bit of news format because it does bring some more people in. And I'm trying to draw as many people as possible. And uh, with that, I want to bring in some more comments, more people who uh, want to talk about this stuff. And people with different ideas. A lot of us on my channel kind of, a lot, we agree about a lot, you know. So we want to have some of that. Um, I'm sure there are some civil people out there you say you know we get trolled a lot and uh, as we're growing bigger we're starting to get trolled more and more but they won't stop me I love bringing you guys news I love talking about stuff um, I hope you got to see that archive.org thing I just did if you don't know about the uh, Wayback Machine go check out my last video entitled uh, I think it was like government shutdown got your websites shut down something like that use uh, the Wayback Machine to get your stuff basically I, I'm working on Apollo video It'll be next I'm working on Apollo 17 video it's pretty cool it's got some neat stuff in it like looks like totally like civilization so stay tuned for that I've got a band practice here and I'll be back for that and I'm gonna do that and uh, we'll call it a night tonight much love guys what's up in the sky 37 hit like comment share let's help build my channel take care guys much love